Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Sunday, October the 21st, and uh, we are allowed to hunt on Sundays here in West Virginia, but I go to church every Sunday morning and pretty much about 99% of the time on Sunday evening, and uh, so I don't have a whole lot of time. You now, when November comes around, uh, last year I think I hunted a little bit in between services, but well, actually by the time time change come around, uh, it was getting dark by like 5.30, so uh, I was able to we got home from church. I actually went and sat in the tree stand a couple times. Didn't do much good, but the reason I did that is uh, I checked my camera one day. Well, actually a couple times on Sunday, about the first of November, and I had two bucks on camera that I had never seen before, and it was both probably 20, 25 yards within my stand, two two different eight points, and I never seen them again. So uh, that lesson right there. I'm, come November and when time changes, I'll probably hunt a little bit in between services. Um, it was 35 degrees this morning, and it's about 45 right now, and it's about the uh, warmest it's going to get today. So it's definitely been a good morning to go out, but just go over a little bit what I'm using this year in my hunting pack. Um, I did hunt Friday evening for about two and a half hours, and I went out yesterday morning for about four hours, and never saw the first thing of the day. Friday was a little warm. Yesterday morning was pretty cold. It was in the mid-30s, I guess, where I got up. And, uh, but the wind was just crazy yesterday, up to about 14 miles an hour when I finally got out of the woods. So I guess that's the reason nothing was moving. But my bow this year is a uh, Matthews no cam. And uh, it is a used bow, but I got a real good deal on it this year. And sure right there, I got action cam on my bow. It was given to me by a buddy. I got a, uh, it did come with a Matthews quiver, but I didn't really care for it. So uh, my buddy gave me the same one, gave me the Vantage cam. Give me this uh, G5 quiver uh, last year. I like it a lot better. I hold six arrows, but I only take four with me. And I shoot uh, uh, gold tip uh, XT hunters, 340s, and uh, I'm using the double cross uh, broadhead from the AP. I used it last year for the first time. Absolutely fell in love with it. To me, probably the best broadhead, expandable broadhead I've ever used. And I've used several of them. But, uh, Going on down the line right here is my camera arm. If you notice, this piece right here in the middle is a little different odd collar because I took it off my bow holder. My bow holder was a little bit, stuck the bow out there a little bit closer from the tree than I wanted. And I wanted a little more um, extension on my camera arm. So I just had to replace some bolts and do a little finagling. I actually seen that off another video a guy did. I don't remember, I give him the credit for it, but I don't remember his name or the video, name of the video. I actually seen him did something similar to that. Uh, he didn't use this. He actually had a different piece of metal he used, but uh, that's where I got the idea. And hey, it worked. Plus, it shortens that up so it fits my pack a little bit better. Hand warmers. Um, after yesterday morning, I wish I had them, so I come home yesterday afternoon and put them in there. Uh, wind checker. I used dead down wind for everything. I used the uh, body soap, shampoo, and stuff. And I get rid of the shower in the mornings. I used the field spray. Spray everything down before I go in the field. Um, I use a uh, wind checker. And uh, this right here is some uh, reflectors uh, that I got little clip reflectors. I actually got them about two years ago uh, after the season went out at Walmart. I got them on sale for like an hour a pack. I got two packs of them. But uh, what these are good for if you're uh, tracking at night and the blood pill gets a little sparse and you need to come back in the morning, you can put a couple of these up. You know, the last place you saw blood, or if you're having trouble with trailing blood, you can put them up until you find the next spot. You know, I think you get about a dozen of them in there. I've used them a couple times. They look pretty good. And same way for my grunt call. I haven't used a grunt call yet, but I come home yesterday and put it uh, put it in my bag yesterday evening, uh, yesterday afternoon when I got home. It's uh, Today's October 21st, so I haven't used it yet, but uh, it's probably getting start to get pretty close because I'm seeing a lot of scrapes and rubs pop up. And right here is a uh, Simmons Range Finder. I think it's got to like 500 yards. Uh, but most I shoot are about 35, 40 yards, about the furthest I shoot. And I got a pair of, just a cheap pair of binoculars I use. Uh, right here is my uh, deer drag. I've had this thing for absolutely years and years. It's drug a ton of deers out because I shoot more does than I do bucks. Uh, right here is my headlamp. It's actually got a strobe, mo strobe mode on it too. I guess if you're ever lost or need help or something, have people find you a little bit easier. That's just a strap that goes to my camera arm, which it is a big game, and if you've seen that or not. Um, 
It's a little big and bulky, but it, it works out. Uh, this right here is just a pelvis saw. You cut the bone back there in the back when you're uh, field dressing. There's a knife I've used for the last couple of years out on Ridge. Swing blade, and there's the case for it. Replaceable blades, awesome. There's a little uh, saw, hand saw that I keep in my pack that uh, comes in handy, especially this year when I've got a climbing stand. I find a decent tree that's got a few little limbs on it. It works good for that. And yes, I do use field dressing gloves. That's a metal bow because uh, I am allergic to deer, at least I hair. I mean, it's a deer hair, so I try, try to keep as much of that off of me as I can. And I do keep a little bag of rubber gloves. Uh, most of these come with rubber gloves in them, but if they don't, it's good to slip on there. But uh, also, I use that when I'm processing my deer at home, or especially here pretty soon when I'm going to start uh, hanging up some scrape papers and stuff like that. Anytime I want to do anything like that, I don't want to touch the limbs with my hands. I, I'll use a lot of them. And right there is my pull-up rope. It's a 30-foot pull-up rope. And that little bag right there is just uh, keep uh, pins. Or some, I, have to, I make, uh, my wife prints me out some tags every year. And I just uh, always keep plenty of tags on me. There's a pin in there. And there's also some allergy pills in there. So occasionally I do shoot a deer. I'll take an allergy pill before I go track it. And right there is my secondary flashlight. In case my first one goes out. or Because uh, that one just fits around your head. Uh, but this one's a secondary flashlight, uh, just in case somebody else is ripping anything. And then last but not least, here's my little camcorder. I did put some camouflage duct tape on it to, because uh, it did have some shiny parts on it. But I uh, haven't got a whole lot of use out of it this year, but uh, hopefully that'll change coming up in the next couple of weeks. And right here's my little fanny pack all together. Uh, keep my pull-up rope right here. The bulk of the stuff goes in right here. I've got uh, binoculars really on one side. My range finder is on one side, it's got a couple of little tiny pouches on the front of there. But that's pretty much what I take in wood with me pretty much every year. I try to keep it to the minimum, try not to take anything else with me when I have to. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much what I take with me most of the time. The only thing I probably had is uh, I did have a the tan bleak call. I have no idea what happened to it. I was looking for it yesterday and couldn't find it. Uh, but other than that, uh, Maybe some buck lure here coming, or some uh, doing heat lure. Uh, I've used a buck bomb a couple times, but you know, just a few little other things. You know, maybe a couple more hand warmers and toe warmers maybe with me. But other than that, this is pretty much what I take with me every year, regardless if I'm gun hunting or bow hunting. So, thanks for watching.